what would be your first memory, sir? Seafield, going there or passing there? Well, I don't know. I mean, the, the, the birds have lived there, I suppose. And that was Marjorie Jimison and the uh, Nisbet boys, Campbell and Charlie. Jimmy was younger, of course, and, but I mind him. And he always told, because I was pity, and I was just like him. He wasn't still going to the school, and that I could come and play with him at any time. And yet I hate to go to the school. <laughs> but uh, that's the ones that I kind of played with there, don't it, say, Philip? Daddy had a, a workshop there. And one of the old barns that was made into a house with Jimmy and them. Their father turned up with, but it was a barn at that time, and Daddy had it as a workshop. So I would go down there with Daddy. <laughs> that was better to stop in the time with nobody to play with. Just the very next building. Then the mission hall was next to that. That was just a barn when when he took it over and had his workshop there. What was, was in the big house at that time? Well, it was a man called Captain Campbell. He was a South man, and he'd married one of the Barclays, Pearl Barclay. So they were in there at that time. That's one of my stories is about yeah. Captain Campbell, Daddy, him to learn him to drive. <laughs> Yeah. When we were in Notre Dame, we would come up every summer for holidays. We all played at the, with the grass that were not here. <laughs> Catching eels, we used to catch pretty eels in them. In the barn? In the barn. Oh, yeah. Pretty, pretty yeah. things, and you'd add it around, and you'd say, Eely, Eely, Andy, cast the knot to put the tail, and I'll slop thee for a fandy. <laughs> And of course, they always did. Yes. I'm sure somebody did. They kind of tied, like, looked like a knot on the tail. It was surely just sort of instinctive reaction. But so once you slept with him at the bottom, he was off again. Then the mission hall was next to that. There were usually four Sundays of the month, and all the ministers at the place uh, shared each Sunday. But then it was Sunday nomination when anybody could come at any time and hear religious meeting there. I can mind the Salvation Army. They come usually at the hair's time. And uh, then there would be evangelists that come too, and they were about thunderous. <laughs> they usually had the Bairns meeting first and followed with the grown-ups meeting after. But was it like inside? Well, it had the long wind sets against loose, because they sometimes would tack them to the hall if there were a big two on it, they needed them. Just the, the bench-type set with the back of the wind sets. And then they were a pulpit at this end, and, and the choir place was at the side. It wasn't a a big place. And they had a pretty folding organ yes. thing. Yes, yeah. a folding, pretty harmonium thing. But because it done at the sea in the dampness, then the Nisbets was living, they'd made that old barn. When they made the old barn in their house, Nisbets, they took and keep it in there for Sunday to Sunday, and that was carried in on the Sunday and carried back to the Nisbets after that. Uh -huh. And I mind, the months I mind playing was uh, Joanne Nicholson, should be, but she was, uh, as to mind Matthew, that was his mother. The, and Arthur Nicholson, of course, and yeah. John, and yeah. the Annie Aiken, and they, that was their mother, and she played there. She was a good player, Joanne. And uh, then she, I don't know, she gave the top and nearly, known as nearly a poverty, <laughs> was she took over. Nelly was a good player too. She left up, she was married to the other rubber that came and lived in the lower house. 
I can my nearly banging on notes and saying, that's not, that's not so. <laughs> but they had a good choir, beautiful choir they had. An awful lot of good singers in Nordevo at that time. They used to travel all over the island, singing here and there. I mind the funeral, and uh, there were weddings. Yes, I came to John and Jack. Mavis, uh, her mother and father was, was married there. We weren't here, we were in Larvig then, but that, their wedding was there. And I'm sure at uh, John's brother Robert, that was married to Nelly, had played the harmonium. At their wedding was there too. And it was only, I mean, Charlie Smith's funeral, I mean, the, uh, Charlie Smith. Hamish's body was teen there after he, after he died. But that was where the remains was teen looking, and was there for the time. He was drunk, that boy, down here. Very sad. The doctor. He, he left the big house then, later on when the candles was gone, had was turned into the doctor's house, and it was Peterson. And his garage was there at the end. Dr. Taylor, I meant seeing a photo of him, because he, he married one of that butch women, and I meant seeing a photo of him standing with all those large women, they seemed such a size, and he was a pretty stunt man. <laughs> yes, he married Sinclair Budge, one of them. I never meant the Budges there, but there were been a four. Captain Campbell, I do. Captain Campbell, he was a sooth man. But we come here and fell in with Pearl Bartley, I don't know, but but they were they left there when we were in camp. And then she died. And then I mind when her dying, but but I never mind what about him when he died. He wasn't eleven when we came back here. But the funny thing was, he was a sea captain. I always thought he was being an army captain because he was in charge of the home gear during the war. <laughs> and the horse half up the road, that horse was big at me. <coughs> oh, a man, I never really found out what his right name was. But his first name, they called him Bolam. And Mammy reckoned it was Bolam, that it should have been. But uh, well, he was uh, something to do with the Spencers. Mavis might king. And he was married to one of the Moors, a heftiger, and a Moor. But he was such a size of a man, enormously fat man. But they, he, they begged that horse, and they had a parrot. And when they were both gone, and the parrot was still living, Mary Spence took the parrot. So when you get into the Mary's, those parrots cage fist you, and the parrot would greet you. <laughs> I mind the parrot. Actually, <clears throat> just thought you would hit a dog with a sense of duty. <laughs> so is that the horse that's called the Noost? Ansley, he called it, because... That was after Anderina's moor that he'd married and But then when Greta Manson's folk came to live in it, they got it the noost. And when the smithy folk good to go and good and left in your nether house up at the next door to Robert, on the south side, uh, her mother, Rina's mother, was Annie bad. And they got that dance, <laughs> so but confusion. <laughs> the mother was Annie Betty, and then she had the unmarried daughter and son, Ina and Jimmy Wally. And they moved, I don't know why they moved. I'd like to leave us a better house. It was the since it was been in it. And John and Jackie, Jackie was a brother to Ina and Jimmy Wally. And it was all joined on. And one and Mary's, you get in the gate 
and her door was on one side, and the back door, what was the back door? Uh, the big house was facing you, uh, and in front, two kids in front of you, and houses at St. Ron's now. The last of mine was Jackie keeping his pets away. Uh, they used to speak about Hannah Manson's. Had it been a living house? I don't know how many families had been there, but I never mind anybody living in it. They wouldn't have fucking like, left any descendants. So when they were gone, they were gone, and you just can't knit into them. The big house had a, I don't know what's at the back of it, no, but at one time they had a place that they grew vegetables. But Captain Campbell didn't work them. It was Mary, Mary Spence. They had two lovely horses that Mary looked after. Uh, Lorna and Major. <laughs> That was uh, Clark, our James Clark, and his daughter, Nancy. I I don't mind any of the two of them, but I might hear as much about them. That had the devil shut it in at Bigot Park off, and had the shop down below. Clark's shop only good during the war, that he gave up, because when we were stopping up at Cam. I would be sent to that shop forever to get errands. I hated that because the postmaster had come for Yolaberry with his family. And the lasses was fine and the oldest boy was fine. But the other two boys was terrible. And I had it and they were awful ill with me. And they were get ahead of me. I was that period and they were older as me and they would uh, they would take off my shoes and my socks and fling them in the nettles and I couldn't get them out of it. If Laurie, the oldest boy, it was an awful fine boy, was there he got them for me. But that two boys was never like the other three bairns at all. And I would go home and tell them, I'm in the mission. Well, you can just go right back and get them again. That was not much help. Help to <laughs> They did an awful lot good just with the nosts here. They just good to my jail. And, uh, and we see feel this will. We never did because they just good around the wall. But I mind going across the wall here. We were in Utrebastel. We were in Utrebastel, yeah, in that time. But when we were in camp, we never could. It was just a case of walking around the wall. There were other things that just walk at Lake Fissifield in it. But uh, they waited till the tide was right, and then they could cut it off. We go on over the, what's called the pool up yonder. I mean, the, <coughs> they were a fishing boat. They called the Kitty Wag. She used to come in sometimes and sell fish at the Civil Pier. I had that too because Mommy would send me and tell what I had to get. And then they never, I was always pushed to the back, bear bear. The Dagmar. He was big at we were Uncle Johnny in the park. Johnny Smith, that was a, a well known boat builder, not only in Shetland, but all over the country. Johnny in the park. You used to see him going to Seafield and see the Dagmar half bigot. Because they bigot her on your uh, park place between Seafield and Melbourne. That's where she was bigot. The strike had the smitty, so. They were the old woman that had lived in it. Old Bobby. Bobby Seafield. I never mind her. She was. Well, I mind her. In a way, because she just lay upstairs in her bed all the time at the smithy, and they just attended on her, her family. But I don't mind any of for that. Here, no, any of the for that. St. Anne's. You can still see the thing at the foot that's to the side, and you can see a humpy thing at the, at the rig below. Roman Catholic, or can be dead. Well, I never slept there. 
I was not really allowed the sledge to the, what's known as the King's Road because they were in St. Gidav and did themselves a fair bit of harm, <laughs> had on the back waters already. <laughs> but the older ones did. But I can mind the winter before we left camp. It, it was heavy snow and a lot of the bands came at the camp town and sledge there, so I was out sledge and we did. It's not a good place if you if there's any kind of bad roads. The turning at Cam, where it joined the main road, was very, very awkward at one time. And he was steeper then as he is now. The and there was a dead gate there. And they were a gate, yeah. A gate at the top right of the road? Right at the top of the road. What mm -hmm. was blooming awkward as a kind when you were driving because you ate the. Well, you had to stop the vehicle and then get out and open the gate and then go back in and leave in her on this precarious steep piece of road. I must say, I never really liked it doing it. It was only at the very first of my uh, driving days after that they put in the grid. It was a piece of nonsense then, stop a car there. Somebody did say that there were King's Road in every place, because they can't King's Roads here and there through the mainland. I really think it was just done we, for the money can <laughs> a higher authority, and they just said it was King's Road, when it was likely the government, I suppose. We good guys, and... The one thing I do hear here is that it may be kind of difficult to access it, and I discovered in later years when video came to be available, we used sometimes the video butts of the guys in, and when the, well, what you usually consider the millennium wine the queens, they decided, the it was guys, uh, to do something a bit more ambitious, and we were really all supposed to represent in a certain decade out of the 20th century, as I shall say. And I, as it happened, I had an old suit with the flare trousers, so I, I decided I would do the 70s. And we rigged that, and we had a, a, a wig. Can you wear that? Can't be black, curly wig, nothing like my hair at all when I did it. And do, the one of them doing the Shetland Reel in the Seafield house, the house, the kitchen, and the Big horse of But that was earlier, that wasn't the same. Mm -hmm. That was only a few years ago I happened to look at it when she discovered I discovered that I really could play the fiddle. I, I thought that I just kinda of made a script. And then when you appeared then you did you go guys at Halloween when you were We good yes, there. Halloween guys and yes, yes. No, me, because it was just the boys and my... It was just <laughs> boys that did that for some yes. reason at that time, but I certainly mind that. And we did it back first. We started at Kay, we can route to the Lee. Yes, and then Basta had to be done. Basta, <laughs> yes, too, sometimes. And then they were, the, the, the young the youngins that's following the guys, else they were good be sort of. But you had to be, I do, in your teens. Yeah. Fourteen, fifteen, I don't. Do you mind that? The last, the last guys in it really ever wish, I think. D and, do, D and me was there. The night in the Magnificent Seven. Yes, but then it came back after that. It came back after that, that yes, then yes. then it was the case of anybody going. Pity yeah. thoughts that could have you yeah, all yeah. was going. That's <laughs> right, yes. Well, they, they said that the smithy, at that one time, I don't mind it, but they used to say at one time, there were that much ground in front of the smithy that they could bend the coal there. It is all exposed down there where yes. the queens of you get through this gale and, and uh, high tide and that. The, queens of the bow here at one time, you could nearly walk at the cross when the trolls come in in bad nights. You could nearly walk it for here to Medjell. 
רק אהוד בוואץ. נובדי שפרת וואט. ‫לפי בתפל בדאון שתים דרוש. ‫אז גראנט נדת שוש, ‫אני לא יודעת מה זה היה, ‫אבל זה היה שוב ולפיס ושאין, ‫נו, את בינתיים. ‫נו, מה, אתה בורט את הדורש? ‫את הדורש בדברות. ‫פייד את מיין ותקמח פדוס בוורץ. ‫זה נבר דד. ‫אני חושב שהוא היה מאוד 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 מא